George Carruthers grew up on Chicago's South Side. He loved Buck Rogers comic books. We headed for the planet Saturn. Yes, sir. <laughs> they talk about how they went to Mars and Jupiter. And so when I uh, was in middle school and high school, I found out that in library books that there were books about astronomy. George started reading those books and found that Although the Buck Rogers comic books were good, the books that I was reading were factual. Astronomy is a factual subject, whereas a Buck Rogers is a comic book. <laughs> In pursuit of his passion for astronomy, George spent hours at the planetarium, joined science clubs, and earned two PhDs from the University of Illinois. George was experimenting in a new field, ultraviolet photography. The far ultraviolet means that we're talking about forms of light which are much shorter wavelengths than what you can see with your eye. Because violet is the shortest wavelength and the most energetic of what you can see. We can't see ultraviolet light with our eyes. Ultraviolet photography allowed scientists to look at energy that had always been invisible. George came to Washington, D.C. and went to work at the Naval Research Lab, where they were using rockets to look at the Earth's atmosphere and objects in space. The fact that the Naval Research Lab was interested in X-rays and ultraviolet astronomy was really great to me because that was something that I could do that was new and different. George certainly did do something new and different. He invented an ultraviolet camera that NASA sent to the moon on board Apollo 16. George was thrilled. And we have to create the drawings for engineers to design and build. And then, uh, of course, after we get that done, then we have to give it to the astronauts and show them how to use it. And then we have to make sure that everything works right, of course, because you take it all the way to the moon and find out that it doesn't work. <laughs> Not good news. Pictures taken with George's camera show a halo of hydrogen around our planet. We pointed back at the Earth and took for the first time the pictures of the Earth's upper atmosphere in ultraviolet light, which had never been done before. The camera and the images it took were among the most significant scientific achievements in the early space program.